Now both Gallia Academy and Megs finished around the 500 mark last season. But Michael, that hasn't lowered expectations for this season. Oh, not at all. Justin, both teams and both coaching staffs feel like they can compete for their respective conference championship. And with expectations like that, you know, there was going to be quite a bit of excitement surrounding this game. And talk about exciting. We had a helicopter fly the game ball in tonight. How often do you see that, Justin? Not too often at all, Michael. Now, you know, totally exciting. But we also have, there's a helicopter that I mentioned. But not, to, not only that, Megs unveiled some new uniforms tonight. They go in the locker room and they're surprised by them. Here, Megs' first drive of the game. Uh, Cody Bartram finds Caleb Sheets. He makes one man, one man miss, gets a first down, but nothing came of that drive because Bartram fumbled on the next play. Two possessions later, though, Sheets, he gets it back. He makes everyone miss. He was electric tonight. No one could touch him. This is an 85-yard touchdown run. That makes it 6-0, Megs. Now, he, like I said, huge game, two touchdowns, 125 yards. Player of the year, maybe. Perhaps player of the year. Here's Cole Carter. He's making men miss, this, but not enough men. They get the stop. Now, Cody Bartram, he's excited after that Caleb Sheets touchdown. He wants some more. He says, this time, I will do it myself. Nobody open, tucks it down, picks up a first down for about 13 yards. Then he connects with his man, Sheets, again. Not to spoil things, but here he goes. And whoop, Sheets gone again. He was, like I said, electric, 38-yard touchdown. Uh, right here. This makes it 12 nothing, that, uh, 14 nothing, Megs, excuse me. It seemed like a big game for Sheets, you know? A huge game. First game back with the Marauders, and here's Sheets again, but this time he fumbles. Gallia Academy recovers, and this was Gallia's like, first real chance inside Megs' uh, territory, and Cole Carter capitalizes. That's a two yard touchdown run. But, and Gallia added another TD late in the second half, but that was all they got. Final score of uh, 30, excuse me, 26-12 for Meg's Gallia game. Man, what a monster game for Caleb Sheets. This is his first time back at Meg's this year. And this season, he's been huge. So how important was it have him, having him back, Michael? Uh, he's basically invaluable for this team. Caleb Sheets, he's the biggest playmaker on this team, on the roster. And every time he touches the ball, he's looking for the end zone. The opposing defense has to account for him on every play, because if they don't, he's taking it to the house. Very true. Now, last year's Meg's defense struggled a lot. How did it look tonight against the Blue Devils? Well, you could tell that defensively, that, that's really what they focused this offseason. The one thing that I noticed the most was how aggressive they were. They swarmed to the ball and had two or three guys making every tackle. And on top of that, the Demons came up with a few huge fourth down stops tonight that really swung some momentum. And Gallia, they only posted 12 points, like you said. So what do they need to do to improve offensively? It's got to be consistency. You know, They moved the ball a few times, but they had multiple drives stall out due to penalties. And if they can erase those penalties going forward, they'll be able to put some points on the board because Cole Carter is a dangerous man when he has the ball. Well, that was a tough way for Guy Academy to start the year. What may be the last year in the SEOAL, but for Megs, this was a huge win. And Caleb Sheets puts his name in the hat for possible player of the year mention. Thanks for the great work, Michael.